What's up, Booty Brigade? I am shooting this video because of you. I have had so much questions about confused on macros, have no time to eat healthy, the cost is too expensive to eat healthy, or you plain just don't know where to start with your diet. So I want to just break it down very simple, very clear, so that you have a linear path to your goal instead of this like crazy, thing here to get to your goal. Brought to you by Booty Bands and Barbells. Make sure to check us out because this will be posted on our app, Booty Bands and Barbells, in our Facebook groups and also our Instagram. See you soon, bye. Awesome, let's go ahead and talk macros. I absolutely love getting questions from the Booty Brigade that can help them further reach their body goals, feeling good, and absolutely feeling healthy. And so one of those things that have come up is really learning more about macros. So let's dive into it. I wanna make it so simple for you today that it takes out any confusion or any frustration or any overwhelm. First thing to understand about macros is actually a more simplified version than the food pyramid. The food pyramid has seven things to focus on when when we talk about macros, it's only three things to focus on. So clearly you can see that's why the nutrition fitness industry has geared a lot more towards the word macro. Now macro, as we know, is macronutrient. That's what it stands for. Basically the essentials of your diet. So it consists of protein, carbohydrates, and fats. That's all you have to know is just that. And then the next part is just the ratios. And that's it. We're gonna again make it so simple for you to be able to achieve your goals and take out any confusion here. One thing about macros is starting off with the thought of calories in, calories out. I wanna first just really bring that to everyone's attention right now. I absolutely do not like that term. Um, in my personal opinion is what it has done to people is they just focus on calories regardless of the actual density of nutrition that's in the calorie and they just focus on their favorite foods rather than their uh, most healthiest food right so so when you think of calories in calories out it's, it's brought a lot of women to starve themselves it's brought a lot of women to eat a cupcake rather than a salad if they were pretty much the same, well, let's say if they were the same calorie, they would choose their favorites over that. And so really what I wanna bring here is that not all, all calories are the same. So please understand that, that if you have the idea of starving yourself or um, that all calories are the same, that would be one thing I wanna make sure that you get off this, um, this video is let's change that immediately because you'll be able to get your goals way quicker by not thinking of that mentality, trust me, I've done it and it didn't work. The next portion is that when you are thinking of your, your macros, your protein, carbs, and fats, that each one of those has a good choice or a, a not so good choice. And so I always view everything about is replace, not restrict. I focus on and teaching my members about long-term sustainability with your goals. I don't talk about fad diets or something that's quick on the market or something just to pull money from people or you know tell you what you want to hear. Um, I really tell you the true facts so that way you're able to obtain your goals and keep them forever to feel good through the rest of your entire life and really stop this whole yo-yoing, overwhelm, confusion, frustration, et cetera, et cetera, that is happening right now in the health and fitness industry. So going back to just, again, keeping it very simple. And um, I have been able to obviously know this information because I failed myself doing it the wrong way. And that's why I have absolutely um, dedicated my life to teaching women the correct way because it absolutely fuels me to hear that they are doing it correctly and that they have now been able to find the results they were looking for and not only find them but keep them that is just so sings to my soul so as you can tell i'm passionate about it um, let's dive into it protein i think we have a good idea as far as what good and bad proteins are but let's just dive into it some good protein options if you like an animal source protein could be eggs and egg whites chicken breast, 99% lean turkey, fish, cottage cheese, uh, yogurt that's got um, low sugar in it, and you can do like whey protein. 
um, of more of like a vegan or vegetarian um, there you can do pea rice or even in the booty bands and barbells protein we came out with an almond based protein so that could work as well um, you've got seeds that are phenomenal for protein such as chia seeds flax seeds hemp hearts pumpkin seeds as well as nuts such as almonds cashews hazel walnuts and then also to make a complete protein you want to make sure that you're adding things like beans and rice um, garbanzo beans black rice lima beans lentils pinto beans things like that um, are absolutely phenomenal to also add protein into your into that so just to kind of give you an idea as far as the ratio now to keep it simple so that you don't have to sit and count any calories you don't have to sit and do any measurements we're going to keep it very very simple right here for you so your protein ratio should be about either two fifths size of your plate or um, if you look at it as like the ratio on your plate perhaps anywhere from about 50 even sometimes up to 70 percent depending on how much you're working out if you're not really working out then you're going to want to keep it more to 50 60 percent if you're really working out and you're pushing through about you know four or five days a week working out and you're really lifting some good weight, really putting some resistance on those bones, you're gonna to wanna to feed the muscle. So you're hitting more of about 60 to 70% of your plate should have protein on it. My next favorite macro, which is fats. And again, there are not so good and good fats. So some healthy fats would be nuts such as almonds and cashews. Um, avocado is a great nut. Um, you can do things like almond butter or peanut butter, and there's olive oils, and there's even grapeseed oil, or there's uh, great omegas as well. You can even find healthy fats in your fish as well. So healthy fats it is a higher calorie. So the other ones, um, protein and carbohydrates, are about four grams per calorie. You don't think you really need to know that, but just giving you that information. And fats are nine grams per gram. So therefore you can see that um, fats are just higher in calories, but it's also really good to make sure you're having those because it can help you actually lose weight and become really healthy. And it is great for energy as well. So healthy fats will be around anywhere from 10 to 30%. And again, depending on the time of day, I'll break that down just a moment, like what your breakfast should look like, your ratio versus like your dinner ratio should be. Next, the uh, carbs macro. Again, there's going to be good and bad. So the good carbohydrates to go through would be, there's starchy carbohydrates, that would be more of your oatmeal, your sweet potatoes, your rice cakes, couscous, things like that. Uh, simple carbs would be something more like fruit, and your fibrous carbs would be vegetables. And depending on how much weight you need to lose, I've, I've noticed that you can really bring the carbohydrates down if you need to lose like 50 pounds or more, I would keep your carbohydrates more around the low scale of like 10 to 20 percent where um, if you're trying to actually gain more weight and build more curves, I would put that ratio a little bit higher, so maybe like 30 to 40 percent of your plate. Okay, so now let's go ahead and dive into where you can kind of manipulate those ratios to even make it work a little bit better for you, whether it's day or night. So for example, my mornings are gonna consist of more carbohydrates. It's filled with my starchy carbs for my energy and simple carbs, which have more base natural sugars in them. And then I also will have protein again is in every single one of your meals. So like my oatmeal usually will consist of tons of nuts and seeds, um, some of uh, the protein powder in it, things like that will be phenomenal. Um, after that, your, your meals you wanna kinda start taking down the carbohydrates. Your protein again will stay the same, but you're gonna start to switch the carbs instead of starchy to simple. Go to more fibrous carbs and um, more fats towards the evening. So the, the dinner ratios would be like 50 to 70% protein. My fibrous carbs are 50% of the plate and then um, my fats are about 10 to 20%. And so you can see that things for dinner would be like a chicken salad or a, some sort of vegetable soup 
Oh, it could be like a salmon and green beans. It could be a turkey patty with asparagus. I mean, the list goes on. I mean, there's really, it gives you so much opportunity. And you can use this same thing going into restaurants. Um, as you're ordering, you're just looking at the ratio of the plate and going, okay, how, how much protein, carbs, and fats are on my plate? And that is all you have to do to really be able to keep that awesome, feel good, getting to your body goals and really feeling healthy. So awesome. Love it, hopefully this helped. If you have any additional questions or you wanna find out more about the meal plans, go ahead and check it us out at the Booty Bands and Barbells app where you can find meal plans that are specific to either Tone and Slim and Hans and Grow, so if you wanna build a booty, um, more maintain if you have uh, struggles with hormones, you wanna dive deeper in there, or um, anything as far as sweet tooth that you want to overcome. I've got all those recipes in there for you at your fingertips and also tons and tons of recipes that you can choose from. We also um, make our own protein powder that again, like I said, is sourced from almonds, absolutely is the best tasting protein and you can go check it out with a bunch of the recipes you get with it with a recipe book also that gets, comes for free. So awesome, hope you guys liked it. I am Danita Young and I'm the owner and co-founder of Booty Bands. Thank you for supporting women-owned, small business and USA-based. Bye. Let me show you the secret on how you can cut fat and keep your curves. Did you know that when you're losing weight, you're actually losing three things, water, fat, and muscle. And losing your muscle, that's like losing your metabolism. Skipping meals and dieting can actually lower your resting metabolism up to 20% a day. The secret is lifting weights and maintaining your muscle will actually speed your metabolism up. The Booty Bands and Barbells program is designed to build lean muscle that will cut the fat and keep your curves. Put yourself first, act now, you feeling great and your new transformation can start today.